with is August 25th, 2015, and I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, and I am here tonight with our guest, Miss Physique Olympia, Miss International, uh, and three-time New York Pro Women's Physique Champ, Juliana Malacarney. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You that look, sounds so nice. Yeah, you got a lot of titles now. <laughs> that sounds really good to hear. Three years ago, you had no titles. <laughs> Not, no, nothing. <laughs> you had like 16th place finisher, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Third call out most of the shows. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know, since the women's physique division was created, you have kind of become the it girl. Uh, it took you a year to really get to that position. Right. Um, you, you know, obviously, the first year at the Olympia, you were seventh. Obviously, mm -hmm. very disappointing for you. And mm -hmm. I think you probably were thinking about maybe not doing it anymore after that, right? For a little while, at least. Little while, very, very little while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you have become the established, uh, I guess, physique of the women's physique division. We've seen the women's physique division evolve over the last couple of years to a level of muscularity that kind of matches yours now. Right. You are the standard, which obviously makes it a lot nicer going into a show knowing that you're the person that everyone is comparing themselves against. That's what they say. <laughs> well, you know that's the truth. <laughs> but uh, I, feel, I feel really good about that. But also it's a huge responsibility. I feel more pressure. Because, Why? Because before I was like underdog, let's say, mm -hmm. so whatever would happen is good, but now I'm the Miss Olympia and I need to keep, I want to keep this title and I don't want to disappoint anybody. So I want to bring better and better every time. Now, how do you do that? Because, you know, I look at your, your video and I look at your pictures and I saw you in person and I say, this is kind of like what women's physique should be. This is the ideal. But you kind of have to recreate yourself every year so that people, mm -hmm. people get bored looking at the same thing every year. Right, so what, right. what have you done from last year to this year that we will see different on stage? I change a little bit my uh, my nutrition, mm -hmm. and I've been working more in details in my body because I don't need size anymore. Sure. So more like little details, and also I got it. I'm um, having more like a holistic approach in my diet and my supplements. That's, so that's you say so holistic. You know, holistic to me means you've everything kind of works together: diet, mm -hmm. nutrition training mm -hmm, mm -hmm. who helped you incorporate or create this holistic um plan? i have a friend of mine he's a doctor he's from brazil his name is paulo muzi he's a he's a orthopedic doctor he's a physiologist sports physiologist doctor mm -hmm. and he's also a bodybuilder and he's a super smart guy and he has a team working with him too so i like all my supplements everything it's natural all natural right all the fat burners that i've been using it's all like no more um uh, fake fake fat burners or maybe sometimes we need to get some illegal stuff mm -hmm. so these things are all in the mm -hmm. past what would give me some give me an example of like some of the, the products you'll, you're taking now that i'm taking about 40 pills a day 40 mm -hmm. four zero mm -hmm. not one four mm -hmm. wow no no, no. four I zero in like do you know what's in the pills that you're four, taking oh i know everything <laughs> yeah i have the i have the, the prescription sheets. yeah all, all everything you know now, it's when really... you say prescription is this like a prescription like like from a doctor's prescription, or is this just the 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 list of what you need to be taking? It's no, it's a, it's a prescription. It was made in in a pharmacy, oh, but wow. all like with. Uh, I don't I don't really know how to explain. I don't know the word in English. Compounding but in pharmacy. In Portuguese, yeah. we call phytotherapicus, what means comes from plants. Okay. You know, it's all like sure. based herbal. on this herbal. We herbal. Say that, okay, right. so more, it's all based on, but for right. everything to speed my metabolism, a fat burner to help me to recover, mm -hmm. um, uh, even um, um, how to say, um, don't give me, don't make me too hungry, like a suppress appetite your suppressor. Appetite. Exactly, right. all this stuff, but all natural. You're looking younger too. Does it make you younger too? And if uh, it, and if that's the know, case, can I get some of it? <laughs> Absolutely. People have um, been asking me, you look different, your skin looks different, you yeah. look different. Um, that's the, really the, the difference that I'm doing, it's mm. that. Mm. So, I, it, and it's work, and I really just started like two or three weeks ago, and I, I feel, and I feel really good. Mm. I feel really, I uh, woke up in the morning happy, I feel tired and normal, but not like super tired, right. and I feel the skin's better, my sleep is good, so it, it's really good. It's just making me healthier. Now, you were 119 pounds at the Olympia last year. Right. Mm -hmm. um, what are you weighing right now? 124, 23 and a half, 24. So you're, are you looking to come in pretty much I'm the same weight? I'm about the same, yeah, not, not above 120. Mm -hmm. 
one when you uh, you were at the New York Pro, I saw you there. Mm -hmm. You were watching the competition. Mm -hmm. To me, mm -hmm. the girls looked very big and right. very hard at that particular mm -hmm. show. I agree. Does that concern you that, that 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 could be something that the judges are looking for, or, or are you not worried and, and just trying to be you know who you are? Um, it's like that. I'm not worried because I will bring about the same look and package that I brought last year, and I hope they reward that. Mm -hmm. If they start to reward them harder and bigger girls, I can get there too, you know? Sure. It's, not, that's, it's not a problem. Mm -hmm. I just don't think, they are just trying to end the, the female bodybuilder, mm -hmm. bodybuilding. I think if they start already placing girls like a little bit, maybe two bodybuilders, I, I, don't think, I don't think it's a good idea. No, so, I don't think so either. Uh, I'm gonna bring the same look. Mm -hmm. I hope they still keep you know, my look, well, but if they sure. want to change, that's up to them, not to me. <laughs> now, you told me a, a, a mind-blasting rumor, and I, I think it's true, mm -hmm. that Dana Lynn Bailey's not competing in this Olympia? That's what I heard. I heard wow. she's not competing. I heard she's uh, very busy with some, you know, her, her life is very busy, so I heard, I heard she's not competing. How could you be too busy to do the Olympia? I don't know. Do you I... think that she's afraid? Because, I mean, you did beat her twice now, at the Olympia last year and at the uh -huh. Arnold this year. I mean... I, I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if she's afraid. I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't really know. I just heard she's not competing, and um, that's it. I don't. I don't Her know. Her legions why. of fans are going to be very disappointed. They're very though. disappointed. I mean, I'm a little disappointed. I really want she to compete. Yeah, but you did, I think was you've more beat her fun. twice though. Yeah, but you beat her. Already, but it's so. not. No, it's not to beat Dana. Let me right. let me make something straight. <laughs> it's just. It's more fun because everybody looking right. forward to right, like right, my competition right. with her. And everybody sure. goes to see her. So many people go to see her. So I think she makes the sport more. There's excited. a rivalry, in other words, between uh -huh. you guys, and it's nice uh -huh. to see you guys head and butt, right, button right. heads because uh -huh. it makes it more interesting. Yeah, exactly. That's how I feel. Yeah. I, I wish she was coming, but I, I heard she's not. I don't know. I don't. I, I don't get it. I, I got to do some investigative reporting on this yeah, one because I, I it doesn't make sense. Help. Now let me ask you this question because I've heard a couple names thrown into the mix that would be people that people are thinking that will beat, not you, but, but Dana Lynn. I've heard the name Ticey Coppett, who last year was third, mm -hmm. who a lot of people, and I myself included, thought should have been second. And even I you said that too. I think she's excellent. Yeah. I really like mm -hmm. her physique. I think she's excellent. And she's such a nice person too. Sure. Great physique. I'm a big fan of Ticey. And uh, she's dangerous. Yeah, she's dangerous. Mm -hmm. Now another dangerous competitor that I've heard thrown around the mix is Kira Newman. Have you seen her physique? Yeah, uh, I, I've heard about. It. I haven't mm. paid much attention, but I've heard she's. Uh, is she the blonde girl? Or yes, not? she's blonde. Yeah, I heard she. I think someone sent me a picture of she her. The, she, I, she, I think the side of her head was shaved when she uh, competed. I think someone sent me a picture of her. So look how good these girls look. And from that picture, she looks amazing. Mm. And I like that. I don't want to. I don't like easy shows. I want everybody in their best. And mm. you know, I like. I like the competition. I like that. Now, I have to ask you this because. Over the last year, people's lives move on. Mm -hmm. People think of you guys as just doing a show, Arnold, Olympia, right, and right. nothing goes on in your life. But, mm -hmm. you know, your life has changed. I hear mm -hmm. you're moving into a new house now. Yes. Uh-huh. I've been crazy busy these last couple of weeks. How do you yeah. do it while dieting? That's going to be crazy. Oh, my God. I don't know. I'm doing I Today, I was, like, moving furniture. I have uh, some people help me. Sunday, mm -hmm. we move all the... I, it's just crazy, but I'm doing it. And I want to do fast because I'm moving to a nice house and it's still summer and it's still warm in New York and I want to mm -hmm. be outside and enjoy a little bit. Sure. So that's why I want to move. A lot of people told me, why don't you wait after the Olympia? That's what I was going to After ask the you. Olympia. But I said, you know what? Let's get this done. I'm like that, Dave. When I decide to do something, I, and I'm doing pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm able to uh, do everything, my workouts, my diet, mm. and just, it's just busier, you know, just now, tiring. Now, you're moving to Old Brookville, which is one of the wealthiest, nicest uh, communities uh -huh. in all of America. So Right, uh, right. But I don't want to people think that I'm that rich because well, I'm can, not even well, rich. Well, we, you, we know you're not rich because we know the prize money is only $15,000, which I was, that's my next question. Mm -hmm. Do you feel after watching this Rising Phoenix uh, Women's Bodybuilding Championship mm -hmm. that took place this past weekend in San Antonio, mm -hmm. Texas, they gave away $50,000 to Margie Martin, the winner, plus okay. a $75,000 custom Jeep. Do you say to yourself... Why aren't the women's physique women getting this? Yes, I absolutely say that. <laughs> say I may be able to jump in that show. <laughs> I wanted you to. I actually was, uh, I told Steve Weinberger in the gym, I said, Juliana should do the show. And he agreed with me. Mm -hmm. uh, but next he, didn't, year. he didn't tell me. So yeah. I think he thought maybe it would be too much for me. Yeah. I should, you know, save for the Olympia. But the money is great. Oh, my God. Oh, right? my God. Yeah. It's not that 
It's not a status as Olympia, but the money is way more. I, I think it would be a great controversial move if next year mm -hmm. you just do it and say, you know what? Because you're Miss Olympia. Miss Olympia can do whatever show they want. Mm -hmm. you know, no qualification necessary. Mm -hmm. You jump in that show. Mm -hmm. And even if you don't win, it's just a great – I got your news for you. Second place is more than you're making. Third place might be Absolutely. more than you're making. So, Absolutely. Uh, Something to think about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah just, just for the fun of it. I don't even think about the money, but mm -hmm. the money is good, obviously. Mm -hmm. But it would be a mm -hmm. fun thing to see how women's physique compares to women's body building in this day and age because i think they're peanut, getting close a peanut next to you them. but you don't look you see you think you're a peanut because you only weigh 220 pounds but you don't look like a peanut on stage you your sure? muscles you're like flex wheeler of the women's physique i'm division. so little i feel like now like i'm like Ay. <laughs> now you know winning a show is one thing getting prize money is another thing but i guess you could say acknowledgement of what you've accomplished is something that sometimes you don't necessarily get i don't mm -hmm. think that people give you enough acknowledgement for your victory i try to right. you know play it up as much as possible because i know that it's a very special title yeah but this year flex magazine is doing a photo shoot spread on you yeah that's got to be fun mm -hmm. that was a very exciting news when i got an email from Angel angelica nebia right nebia, An i think angelica yeah. yeah angelica and uh, yeah, she was inviting me, and I'm excited to do a workout photo shoot for Flex. That's no, really nice. I, what, I dare I ask what body part? It's got to be legs, right? I don't know. We no. didn't we didn't discuss that. We just she just we just uh, settled the appointments for like a day after the the Olympia and. Who's I gonna shoot you? Is pair of um, I think yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. well, that's is the either best. him or the um, the other one, Tony Young, Tony Young. I'm not, all I know is if Pear Banal shoots you, you the, mm -hmm. the best pictures you ever take your career. Charles something. Okay, Lothian maybe? Yes, exactly. Oh, he's great too. Mm -hmm. Charles Lothian is from Australia. Okay, one of these two. He, one of he, these two. Both of them are fantastic. Mm -hmm. So you mm -hmm. can't go wrong. There'll be pictures yeah. that you'll be showing your grandkids. I'm telling you, oh, they're amazing. Wow. So, I'm excited with this, uh, you know, this opportunity. It's is, really nice of them. Is there potential for a cover shot maybe? Or we don't know. They didn't mention anything. You know, I'd like to see a cover shot with you and Phil Heath. I oh, think that would too. be a, like a, a the old you know the old style muscle mm -hmm, and fitness shoots mm -hmm. with a man and woman on there. It's funny because today I was looking at Frank Sapp and Monica Brand cover from and, Muscle you know, Night from, from years ago. Yeah, you yeah. know, very back in the day. And I said, I wish I would do something like this. It's mm. so nice. So I think that would be know. cool because you're kind of like the new women bodybuilding, right? You know, exactly. and, and uh -huh. Phil Heath is kind of like mm -hmm. the new men's bodybuilding. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, he's not the mass monster of yesteryear. Right, so right, right. it would be reminiscent of the mm -hmm. '80s and '90s. You know, I would love they give opportunity. Maybe, maybe who knows? Mm. <laughs> now, let's talk a little bit about um, diet because. A lot of people think that you walk around in shape all the time, and I mm -hmm. and you're never really that far out of shape. How hard is it for you to prepare for the Olympia? What 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 does it entail? How many weeks do you usually spend getting ready for the show, and what kind of a diet do you follow? Um, I usually start to prepare about ten to twelve weeks mm. because usually I'm only ten, twelve pounds overweight. I never go like twenty pounds, twenty five mm. pounds. Just my body doesn't go. I, I don't get that heavy, I don't, unless I, you know, and I don't need to gain anything. You purposely don't get that heavy, though. Yeah, no, no, I, I just, I, I'm pretty normal in my mm. off-season. I eat okay. like normal people. Just my body, I, I don't I don't get fat. Mm. You know, well, people going people gonna to hate me gonna hate saying that. that. Yeah, exactly. I know, but it's not that I'm being, you know, just, I gain 10, 12 pounds. Of course, I gain a little bit of yeah. fat, but I just don't go like that um, that fat. My diet's a, it's a diet, like, very traditional bodybuilder diet, lean protein, complex carbs, good fat, mm -hmm. veggies, salads. I eat a lot of like veggies and salads. You do. Yeah. Some people they don't. Mm -hmm. You know, I eat a lot of like leaves, lettuce, How tomatoes. How many times a day are you eating now? Five to six meals. Okay, so you're mm -hmm. you're putting down a lot of food. Now mm -hmm. off season I catch you every once in a while training at different gyms around the area mm -hmm. at mm -hmm. Steve's. And I see you squatting and doing, you know, because I know you like to train. Mm -hmm. Are you doing what you've done in the past, which is basically not training that much for this show? Or no, I've been training You a have lot. been training. Oh, yes. Yeah. This mm -hmm. is a different strategy for mm -hmm. you. It's a different strategy. You know why? Because I got smaller over the, the years in the mm. physique. I think I adjust my body pretty much for what they can, they're looking for. Mm -hmm. So my legs, my legs doesn't even get big anymore, like big, like was mm. before you know right. i still train i've been training pretty heavy i'm just slowing down the legs this week yeah no yeah. what what's like when you train when you squat what will you squat how much weight 225 
That's a lot of weight. Mm -hmm. for 200 <laughs> for 5, 225. That's what I squat pounds. now because I don't want to hurt myself. <laughs> right, right. So we're so, squatting the same weight. But that's weight. heavy for me. Probably it's not that heavy for well, you. Well, it's not that bad, but it's, it's mm -hmm. challenging. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I, uh, no, I, like, I like to train heavy. I like mm -hmm. to train chest heavy. Mm -hmm. Heavy for me compared yeah. with older people. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not going to be that heavy, but heavy for me. Back, everything. I got to ask you a question because um, a lot of people look at you and they say, wow, that's the perfect woman. I love her level of muscularity. She's beautiful. Okay. And, uh, you know, but someone like you could be very intimidating to a man because, mm -hmm. you know, they think that you're unapproachable or they think that, you know, you're, you, you, you know, it, it's, it's an, int I would have a problem coming up to someone like you mm -hmm. if I was like a guy in the gym. Now, do mm -hmm. you notice that, 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 that you encountered that? Oh, absolutely. You, yes. Mm -hmm. Guys only are intimidated? The, guys are very intimidating. And only the very confident guys come to talk to me. Usually they're old and ugly. Right. Or, or they're just, or they don't like the personality because mm -hmm. they're too, too upfront. Mm -hmm. So the guys that you actually would want to date they, never they, talk they to shy. you. They're shy. They're right. shy. So like, it, like, cause I understand you're single now. If like, so if you wanted to, like, if you wanted the ideal guy, what would be your ideal man? Hot and nerdy. Right. Hot and nerdy. Uh, hot and nerdy. Is, is that yes. a is that a is that a possibility? Does that combination yes. go together? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. What's hot? Very for you? very rare, but possible. Yeah. What's hot for you? What is like your your um, look? Hot. I like guys in shape. Mm -hmm. Don't need to be like bodybuilders. Things too big. I don't even like. Men's too physique big. look. Men's physique look. Okay. There's not, and um, maybe even less than men's physique. Really? Like a um, model. I like model a little. Look. You know, and um, I like is smart, I like intelligent, and I like people who come from different um, industry. I don't like much the same You want industry. to stay out of the bodybuilding yeah. industry. That's probably uh -huh. a smart move on your mm -hmm. part, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, because I like to talk about different things, and I'm a pretty normal person when I'm not in pre-contest. I'm not like so, yeah. some people are so like crazy, they have to have six meals every day in the off season, they don't eat this, <laughs> and I'm not like that. I like to have fun, I like to go out, once in a while I have a drink, uh, you know, I like to have three meals a day maybe, the, day, the times I feel hungry I'm gonna eat, right, right. but I like to train, I like to do my cardio, you know, sure. but not, nothing. I, you're I like not an extremist. Normal, like yeah. if you go on vacation, mm -hmm. you're not worried about going to the gym and yeah. finding a gym, because I know people that like mm -hmm, that, you know. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I take a walk at the beach. Mm -hmm. I do a little something, you know, but nothing. I, I'm not crazy. I like to enjoy life. What ethnicity do you like in your man? White, Spanish, black, Chinese? Like, what? What? What is your preference? This is a very. <laughs> it's a very hard. Because <laughs> I can't. <laughs> are you open to anyone, or are you? Um, or are you? I like. Um, I like good-looking man. Yeah. Um, I like a lot of, like Middle Eastern man. Middle Eastern. Okay, that's mm -hmm. that's fair enough. Mm -hmm. that's, but it, uh, it's it's not a rule, right? But you that's know. you like that look. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, and you I like do. them when they're younger, not when they get older. Yes, I like I, I like young. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. No, I know because <laughs> I haven't seen the people you date. You like the, the mm -hmm. young guys mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so here we got a young Middle Eastern guy <laughs> who trains. He's got a nice physique, six pack of abs. Mm -hmm. how, what would be your advice to him to come? How how would he, should he approach you? And talk so to you. Be very, be, be very careful when you open your mouth. Right. And pay attention to what you're gonna say. Right. But what's what's the right thing to say? <laughs> like, what do they say? Right to thing you? to say is just be nice. Don't be too into himself. Right. Don't be too much into myself. Right. Just come and talk to me some whatever, but nothing about how much you bench. Right. You like humor. You, you like humor? Can they I make like a joke? Mm -hmm. They crack a joke, mm -hmm. that's good? Crack all right. the joke's fine, all yes. Right. All, right. Mm -hmm. all right, And what's your favorite food? So this way people might know, they might want to you know, bring you a little cheese. gift. Cheese. You like cheeses, mm -hmm. right. Well, what's what's your favorite cheese? I like like sweet, little sweet cheese. Sweet cheeses, you like mm -hmm. like brie, Allsburg, mm -hmm. you know, okay, yeah. all right. All right. Mm -hmm. See, I didn't know this. <laughs> the key to Juliana's heart is cheese. Mm -hmm. Do you eat pizza? Love pizza. Pizza is my favorite thing because I like bread, the sauce, and the cheese. Yeah, me too. That's that's a great combination. Mm -hmm. I've been <laughs> I've been perfect. in a pizza mode lately. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, me too. But I just can't have it. Just dream about. It. What country has the best pizza in your in your estimation? Brazil. They they make good pizza there. Hi, I've never had Brazilian pizza. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. is there? Is there like a different recipe? Um, the difference like the dough the dough is softer, so you cannot eat eat with your hands. But our toppings are much more much more toppings much more variety of it we mm -hmm. have maybe 40 50 different types of pizza wow so it's really interesting yeah so that 50 that, different pizzas yeah. what's your favorite then mm -hmm. my favorite i like the quattro formaggi 
And what's uh, in there? Four cheese. Four cheese pizza. Oh, so you like the, mm -hmm. the cheesy cheese. That's the like Amanda. My cheese. wife likes yeah. the cheesy pizzas. I mm -hmm. like the less cheese. Oh, okay. I like the margarita pizzas okay. that's like a piece of tomato mm -hmm. on there, a little mm -hmm. mozzarella, mm -hmm. and, and some sauce. I like it all. Yeah. To be honest, yeah. <laughs> I I'm just not a big fan of pepperoni. I'm I, yeah, I'm not a pepperoni, pepperoni guy either. And no. anchovies, no anchovies. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, no, no. no. But like pepperoni is too like greasy, salty for me. But what's your favorite topping aside from cheese? Like, what would you put on there? Mushrooms, uh, um, anything like that? Peppers, spinach, um, broccoli. Usually, yeah, yeah. it's always cheese though. Always She's cheese. starving to death, and I'm throwing about talking <laughs> exactly. about pizza with her. I'm gonna drive her crazy. She's gonna go cheat after this because of me, and I'm gonna mm -hmm. she'll lose the Olympia because Dave Palumbo. I like pizza. Uh, oregano in my pizza. Okay, Which make like very Italian. Okay. That's uh, part, something that I appreciate. Do they use that in, uh, in Brazil? Brazil, yes. They do. Because, mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot of Italians and Europeans in Brazil. Oh, yeah. 100%. People and don't realize that. I know. like hard-boiled eggs in my pizza, too. hard -boiled, Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, here you go. I'm giving you guys a lot of information <laughs> here to use. Do you eat? Are you a chocolate girl or no chocolate? No. I'm a cookies girl. A cookie, cookie girl. girl. You're yeah. a cookie. Chocolate chip? Soft baked cookies. Oh, really? Chocolate chip. Um, all of them, I love them all. But baker, very... baker some cookies, guys. Mm -hmm. that, that, oh, that yeah, that's my heart, heart right away. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, we got the Olympia. Three and a half weeks coming up. It's got to be uh, pretty exciting for you. This is, uh, you know, do or die time for you, uh, Juliana mm -hmm. Malacarney, defending that title defending for the, the first title. time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, does it feel better going into the Olympia with the title or when you were the when you were going against Dana Lynn Bailey for the first time? I feel... More of a responsibility to keep, but in other hand, I feel very confident about. I'm very confident about this. Well, I'm very confident that you're going to do very well at the Olympia and Thank defend you. your title. Thank you for coming in and talking My to us pleasure. today. My pleasure. Thank you for the opportunity for having me. All right, guys. I'm Dave Palumbo here uh, with Juliana Malacarney, Miss Olympia, and we'll see her on stage in three and a half weeks at the Orleans Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. For now, we'll see you next week. Oh, all right.